All right, guys, I'm going to share with you 100 of the best shirt brands to resell on eBay. Um, I'm going to try to get through this list as quickly as I possibly can. If you need to pause the video so you could take screenshots or make a list of the, vi uh, of the items, um, go ahead and do so. Also, uh, really quick, when it comes to these items, as far as I know, none of these items are on the Vero list, but it is your responsibility to verify that uh, before you list any items, sell any items. Um, if you don't know what the Vero list is, is basically items that you're not allowed to sell on eBay um, and they may penalize you for it and even take your store down. Um, so that's your responsibility. Also, when it comes to this list, um, I'm going to share the sell through rate and the average selling price, but I'm only referring to the shirt category. So these brands um, might sell differently with different average selling prices when it comes to you know, shorts, pants, outerwear, things like that. But I'm only referring to the shirts category. All right, guys, let's jump right in. All right, so the first brand is Nike Pro Combat. I, I don't tend to buy Nike shirts unless they're in really solid condition, but I always pick this uh, Nike Pro Combat brand uh, or version of Nike if it's priced less than $5. Really quick, I forgot to mention that the column next to the brand name is the sell-through rate percentage. And basically, as I progress through the list, you're gonna see that it's ranked from the lowest to the highest sell-through rate. And the way that I come up with that is I basically look at how many are active, uh, how many are actively listed versus how many have sold on eBay within the last 90 days. So 100% means that it's gonna sell within 90 days or it should sell within 90 days. 200% means that it's gonna sell twice as fast and so forth. All right, now let's jump back into the list. Number two is Patagonia. Most people know about this brand. Um, number three is Mr. Freedom. It's an LA-based boutique brand. It has a really high average selling price, which gives you margins to sell it faster if you want to price it lower. Um, as you can see, the average selling price is between $100 and $200. Uh, high Lead, uh, this one doesn't have a high average selling price, but it does sell pretty quick. Um, when it comes to items like this, that's like active wear, um, you, ha you should always check in which category ha it has a higher sell through rate. So sometimes you'll see that it, when it's listed as active wear, it sells faster than, or it sells faster and even more. So when it is, um, in the category of men's shirts, so always when it comes to like active wear, check the different categories to see where it sells better. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I think it's Jaw Raven. This is an outdoor brand. Pretty good average selling price. Uh, number six is Carolina Herrera. Uh, this is a dressy men's brand. It has a really good average selling price. Number seven, Flint and Tinder. This is a solid brand. Good sell through and average sell price. Um, number eight is Prada. Now, a lot of people know that this is a luxury brand. I'm a little bit wary of luxury brands because um, when it comes to these, you have to be very careful with counterfeits. So obviously this has a high average selling price, but I, I don't come across these items that often. So I'm more concerned about finding the things that I can find on a continuous basis. So that's just how I feel about luxury brands. I'm just a little bit wary of them. Um, number nine is Beyond Clothing. Uh, this is a small tactical clothing brand. It has a really high average selling price. Uh, the t-shirts don't appear to be selling as well. Um, but, you know, the, the, the tactical side of it is sells for uh, a lot of money. Uh, Gives and Hawks. This is a dressy men's brand. Um, not great average selling price, but again, you're going to sell it pretty quickly. All right, number 11. This is Gustin. It's a casual dressy shirt brand. Uh, number 12, Vlone. This is expensive streetwear. Uh, has a pretty good average selling price. Uh, for this one, just be a little bit wary of counterfeits. Um, number 13, Willis & Geiger. This brand went out of business in 1999, so everything you find is vintage when it comes to this brand. Average selling price between $50 and $100. Number 14, Balenciaga. This is uh, another luxury brand. Again, check out for counterfeits. Uh, when things have a high average selling price, um, you can buy it for a little bit more. So if, it's a, it, it, if you find it at a reasonable price, you can go ahead and still buy it. Okay, number 15, Ralph Lauren Purple Label. The Purple Label is the only one that I found that has more of a demand. 
Um, but I'm curious to see if you found anything else that sells well with Ralph Lauren. So let me know in the comments how you do with Ralph Lauren. All right, number 16, Fendi, another high-end luxury brand. Check out for counterfeits. Number 17, Ed Hardy. This is that old school tattoo looking type of brand. Um, doesn't have a high average selling price, but it does sell pretty quickly. Uh, number 18, Carhartt, very solid brand, good sell through and average selling price. Number 19, Alexandre, Ale, Alex, Alexander Plakov. It's a rare find, but highly valuable. Number 20, Todd Snyder, solid brand. Tag sometimes reads Todd Snyder, New York. All right, next. Number 21, Chrome Industries. This one has very low active and sold numbers, um, so it's gonna be a rare find, but good average selling price, good sell through. La Martina, this is dressy style shirts. Uh, number 23, Affliction. This is a biker, gothic-like style brand. You're gonna see a lot of shirts with angel wings, skulls, statues, eagles, stuff like that. Number 24, Rag and Bone. This is just plain casual aesthetic brand. Uh, number 25, Para Jumpers. Mostly does outerwear. You're going to find a low number on shirts, but it's going to sell quickly if you find it. Number 26, Marine Layer. Great brand with good sell through. Number 27, Pelagic. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but this is a deep sea fishing brand. Number 28, Grundens. This is a performance clothing uh, brand for fishing. Uh, number 29, Gucci, another luxury brand. Again, be careful with counterfeits. You're going to have an average selling price of $50 to $100, which obviously gives you good margin to sell it faster if you want to price it lower. Number 30, Lacoste. Um, I find a lot of Lacoste shirt, but I always find them like in bad condition. So it's going to sell good, but it has to be in a good solid condition. All right, number 31 is ASRV. This is a high-end athleisure brand. Number 32 is Mizzen Maine. This is a casual dress shirt brand. Um, number 33, Black Craft Cult. This is a goth-like style brand. Uh, number 34, Cool. It's an outdoors brand. It's very similar to Patagonia. Um, number 35 is Loro Piana. Now, Loro Piana is a manufacturer of wool fabrics, so it's a rare uh, find to find like just a Loro Piana piece by itself. Uh, but you will find the lower piano label on other brands, which will increase the value of those pieces. Uh, number 36 is Unique Low. This is just basic solid aesthetics brand. Uh, number 37 is uh, Turnbull and Acer. Uh, Acer, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Um, these are dress shirts, good average sale price. Number 38 is Ricks. They sell Hawaiian shirts. Um, Number 39 is Burberry, Burberry Brit. Burberry Brit does have a high average selling price, uh, but you're also going to find Burberry London and Burberry London England, but those don't have as good of a sell through as Burberry Brit does. Um, again, check for counterfeits. Uh, number 40 is Topo Designs. This is uh, flannel button downs or button ups. All right, number 41, Twillery. This is an athleisure brand that also makes dress shirts. Everything sells, but average selling price is okay. Uh, number 42 is American Giant. This is just plain aesthetics. Number 43 is Filson, also known as CC Filson. This is a solid brand, good sell through and average selling price. Number 44 is Loudmouth. This is a golf clothing brand. Uh, number 45 is Charvet. This is a French designer, has a high average selling price. Number 46 is Faherty. It's just a reliable, solid bolo brand. Uh, number 47, Spear and Mackay. They mostly make dress shirts and suits. Uh, number 48 is Dixon. They're best known for their flannel button up shirts. Uh, number 49 is Woven. They sell fast, but they're only worth if you get it for real chip. Ch uh, chip you, they're only worth it if you get it for real cheap this is more of a bins type of pickup um because it's going to sell for like 10 to 15 dollars uh number 50 is birdwell beach bridges this is a beach brand even though uh this list is for shirts the sh their their shorts are i feel like what really sell well and they have a higher average selling price all right, number 51 is Rafa. This is a high-end cycling brand. 
um, if you're going to check comps and when you decide to list it, just list it in the cycling category, not in the men's category, uh, men's clothing category. Number 52 is Demetrius Harmon. This is a tiny, uh, tiny designer brand. Um, it just seems like the shirts that um, this designer makes just say you matter on them, uh, but they're in high demand and they sell for a high average selling price. Number 53 is Sid Mashburn, Mashburn, solid brand with good sell through and average selling price. Number 54, Roots of Flight. They make fighting themed pieces with popular boxers like Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, and martial artists as well. Um, number 55, Taylor Stitch are casual dress shirts. They have a high average selling price, which gives you good margins to sell faster if you want to uh, drop the price a little bit. Uh, number 56, Koto Paxi. This is a small outdoor brand. Number 57 is Albino and Preto. Preto. Albino and Preto. I don't know how to pronounce that. Preto. This is a martial arts brand. You're going to find this one in the boxing, martial arts, and MMA category. And if you find the geese, I don't know if you know what that is, but that's what the martial artists use, like that they tie with the belt. Uh, the geese will sell for hundreds of dollars. So uh, if you find those, pick it up. Number 58, Ben Davis. This is casual wear. Number 59, outer known. Casual t-shirts, button-ups, and polos. Number 60 is Tad, triple art design. This is a tactical clothing brand. Usually with like tactical stuff, uh, they tend to have a higher average selling price. All right, number 61, LEL. Uh, this is an upscale cycling brand. Again, you're going to find this one in the cycling category. Number 62, Ariat a western theme brand, good average selling price. Number 63 is Built. This is an athleisure activewear brand that mostly makes t-shirts. It doesn't do well if it's overpriced. I've gotten a few of these and if I price it too high, it just, they don't sell. Um, number 64, Lululemon. This is a strong brand. Um, this, this brand doesn't have a shirt tag. So you're usually just gonna find like a logo in the back um, in the back of the shirt, like by the neck area. Um, and the first time I sold one of these, I couldn't find the size. Uh, you're usually going to find the size on the bottom hem of the shirt. And it'll be kind of like, uh, just, I don't know what you call it, but like embroidered, not embroidered, but like, you'll see it. It just kind of like, uh, sticks out a little bit. Um, number 65 outlier this has a, this is a small uncommon brand, good average selling price. Uh, number 66, 316, a boutique brand based in New York, good average selling price. Number 67, Sit Good Gear. This is expensive hunting, uh, hunting clothing brand. Um, number 68, Villa Brickwin. Vile Brickwin, you tell me how that's pronounced, not sure, uh, but this has basic solid aesthetics. Duck, number 69, Duckworth, plain aesthetics. Uh, a lot of it is made with merino wool. Um, number 70, Roan. This is activewear, athleisure brand, good average selling price. All right, number 71, Sims. Uh, this is a fishing brand. Number 72, Dark Sport. This is a boutique bo bodybuilding apparel brand with uh, really good average selling price. Uh, number 73, 73, Buck Mason. This is uh, plain aesthetics. Uh, number 74, Western Rise, also plain aesthetics. Uh, number 75, Scotty Vest. They have shirts, but you'll mostly find their utility jackets and vests, uh, which are going to have lots of pockets. Uh, number 76, Berghaus. This is a high-end outdoor clothing brand. Number 77, Rogue Territory. This is a uh, casual dress shirts, but it has a really high average sell-through price between $100 and $200. Uh, number 78, uh, Relwin. Again, casual dress shirts. Uh, number 79, Psycho Bunny. This is a solid brand with a solid sell-through, and it has a really good average sell price, um, even for their t-shirts. Uh, number 80, Icebreaker. Uh, mostly makes merino wool outdoor clothing. When it comes to these, like... Um, hiking brands or like outdoor brands, uh, they're going to sell good even with minor flaws. Uh, so if you find a little hole in them, you can probably negotiate at the thrift store to get it for a better price. Um, and it's still going to sell because people are not looking uh, for these shirts for their aesthetics per se, but more for the performance aspect of it. 
All right, number 81, Wallmaker. This is a Western style reenactment period clothing brand. You'll know what I'm talking about when you uh, see the comps. Um, number 82, Steel. This is an upscale outdoor clothing brand. Uh, number 83, James Pierce. This has plain aesthetics. Number 84, Aviator Nation. This is a retro style looking brand. Um, all these have pretty good average selling price, gives you good margins. Number 85, Arcteryx. This is a solid brand with a good average selling price. Number 86, Jung Maven. This is plain aesthetics. Number 87, Brunello Cucinelli. Cucinelli. This is upscale menswear. Average selling price between $100 and $200. Again, watch out for counterfeits. Uh, number 88, Free Fly. This is a fishing oriented brand. Um, not a great average selling price, but it will sell super fast. Number 89, Howler Brothers, which you're often going to find it listed as Howler Bros. Number 90 is the Roosevelt. This is a pop culture and Hawaiian themed uh, clothing brand. Number 91, Ibex. This is another outdoor clothing brand. They make a lot of merino wool pieces. Again, this will sell, uh, this will still sell with moderate flaws. Um, number 92, Scotty Cameron. This is a ritzy golf brand with a high average selling price. They have some branded t-shirts, but most of their clothing is made by Peter Millar. And sometimes you'll find the logo on a shirt from another brand and those will sell too. Uh, number 93 is Buttercloth. This is a Shark Tank brand that mostly makes shirts. Um, 90, number 94 is Grayson. This is a golf performance clothing brand. Um, number 95 is K-U-I-U, Kuyu, Kuyu, I don't know how to pronounce that. This is an expensive hunting clothing brand. Uh, number 96 is Hook. This is a fishing clothing brand. Doesn't have a high average selling price, but it's going to sell extremely fast. Uh, number 97 is Cry Precision. This is a military apparel and equipment brand. Uh, mostly you're going to find their items outside of the clothing category. You'll find it in the uh, military uh, and tactical and duty gear uh, category. Um, but these items are going to sell over $200. So extremely high average selling price. Number 98, Drake's of London. This is a tiny brand that mostly makes uh, dress shirts and suits. Uh, sweaters can sell over $100. Uh, number 99, Ryan Michael. Uh, they only make Western style shirts. Um, and then the last item on this list, Smart Wool, which has the highest uh, sell through rate on this list. This is another performance hiking brand. Again, this item will sell with minor and moderate flaws uh, because people are buying it for the performance aspect of it and not necessarily the aesthetics. But there you go, guys. A hundred of the best shirt brands for you to resell on eBay. I hope you enjoyed this list. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.